In this video, we'll uh, set up the mesh for the surface model that we built. So we'll start by double clicking on model. This will open mechanical, which will take a minute to come up. Still loading. And here we are in mechanical. We can now see we have our surface model is uh, in. So that's all good. And we'll see uh, up in geometry, we have some question marks. It wants us to fix some things. That's because we built a surface model, not a, a, not a solid model. So we need to go through and we need to add the thicknesses to all these uh, surfaces. Fortunately for us, since we named them, all these components, it's rather straightforward. So we can click on this component. We'll see that this is we've the first ring. So let's control click on all the rings. And we can see here it needs a thickness. So we'll put in 1.1 millimeters for the thickness. Um, and then for the material assignment, we should also assign the material to be cartilage for the cartilage rings. It's also worth noting, if your materials, if your units aren't coming up as millimeters, you can go under here, and you can pick your units in there. It might come up, set up to meters. So you can just come in here and set it to millimeters because you'll need that. And then, so we'll, anyway, so now we've got our material assignment and our thickness is set up for the cartilage rings. So we'll go back and we'll do the same thing for the tissues as well. Just select all the tissues, control clicking as we go. And of course, this is also really that's pretty straightforward. And for the thickness, one millimeter, and the material assignment is muscle tissue. So good. Now we see the question marks are all gone. We replaced with green check marks, which is good. So first, we'll click on mesh. We'll click on mesh. We'll click uh, generate mesh. You know, that, that'll take a minute to run through. And we see it's kind of uh, divided our model into all these little little uh, sections. And we want to uh, be able to control the size of those settings. We'll go up here and click on Mesh. Click Sizing. And now we need to select all the bodies we want to apply the sizing to. So we'll go up to Select Mode. Use Box Select so we can pick them all. So we got them all. Then we'll go over here under Geometry and hit Apply. And since it's picked all 20 of them. For the element size, we'll just turn it down for defaults a little bit, down to 1.5 millimeters. And then we'll right click on mesh and click generate mesh. And it'll go through and create our mesh. And we can see it's cut the model into slightly smaller pieces. Uh, a good exercise is always to go through when you finish uh, your solve and you know uh, run a, a finer mesh with smaller elements and make sure it doesn't give you uh, noticeably different results. Uh, that, that's not something we need to worry about right now because I, I have checked this mesh is going to be good enough. So go up here, we'll go to File, and we'll go Save Project.